Okay, good morning guys and welcome to this Saturday's vlog. Look at where I am, look at that view, look at the view. I mean, you can't really tell because it's kind of cloudy, but are you filming me? Um, no, okay. I already did. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. Um, but I'm in London today, I'm actually with Liv, she's just creeping She's in my there. ends. I am, Finally. I'm out near Canada Water. I got the tube here, I got the really early train up Beverly and I'm actually here today filming for my media coursework. So I'm doing my short film, which Liv is kindly starring in. Um, and I think like, it's gonna take all day pretty much. So I've planned out loads of locations and I've brought like a brief with me. Liv stood reading a script over there. Um, so basically we're filming a film, which is really, really cool. So if you're interested in taking media at level, this vlog might give you an insight into what the coursework's like. But we've come up to this thing, I think it's called Russia Dock Park or something like that. Where are we? Yeah, Russia Dock. Russia Dock, yeah. Um, and this is like the circle thing I actually came on my school trip, which is how I knew this was here. And I remember the view being like amazing. So I was like, I want to film the outro, or the, the outro, like the end bit here. So we're starting with the end, even though technically we've already filmed the end because we filmed up in Brighton. Um, so we're filming it completely out of sequence, but yeah, look at that. That's the city. I think I don't actually know what those buildings are. Gonna go with Canary Wharf, maybe? Is that Canary Wharf? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Liv knows a lot more than I do. The shards over there, but you just can't really see it. Oh, yeah. I think you can see it at all, can you? But it's there. Andy. Okay, guys, we're now in um, South Kensington and we filmed some shots. Where did we start? We went Happy. to Canada Water, where I showed you. Then, since then, we've been to Big Ben. I actually met one of you guys that was from Belfast, stood outside Big Ben, which was insane, and your accent was amazing. So, if you're watching, hello. Um, Liv, what, do you remember her name? Maddie? 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 Maddie. Maddie. If it's Maddie, then you had a really cool accent. Um, but yeah, anyway, right now we're like outside the Natural History Museum and it's only quarter to 12 but we both are really hungry like I've been up since like half five and I had breakfast pretty much straight away and Liv was like oh I really want to go to Nando's so um yeah we're walking to Nando's on where is it Gloucester Road um yeah so we've just been taking some like I was gonna say taking pictures but I haven't filming around some really pretty houses like the houses around here guys I like the stereotypical big white London house and I really want to like imagine living somewhere like this it'd be very cool anyway we're gonna go probably catch up with you when we're getting lunch so far it's going well I mean I've run my camera battery out already once good job I brought four with me um so hopefully fingers crossed it's all going well you can't really tell till you look at it on a computer but hopefully it's all going okay we've come to Nando's guys got uh, a chicken burger chips and garlic bread which I'm very excited about Okay guys, we're now on a bus. I'm using my phone because um, my camera's at the bottom of this backpack. I hate carrying this backpack. Um, we went to Starbucks. I'm sure that doesn't surprise any of you. The bus is moving. Um, and I'm really struggling to carry my backpack, but the filming is going well. Like, I think so far, touch wood, not wood, um, everything's been pretty successful. I'm sorry that this clip's on my phone. It's just I can't get to my backpack right now. But we're on the way to St. Paul's. We've just been filming in Covered Garden. Um, the locations are not all really close together, so we've done quite the tour of London. Uh, and we're only like, well, we're over halfway through, but we did stop for food, so you know. Um, but yeah, I never really get buses, so this is quite the experience. Look at this, London bus life. Also, they spelled my name wrong in cost, um, Starbucks. So we're on Millennium Bridge, and on this side of us, you've got the Shard and the Tower, and on this side of us, you have like the other stuff. Uh, and it's so 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 sunny but I'm always so scared of holding my phone on this bridge because like the gaps in it are big enough for your phone to fall through um, also my camera is like just chilling here looking proper industrial getting a few stairs but um, so far it's going okay my back's really hurting from carrying the bag but we're doing alright aren't we girl? yeah yay guys me and Liv are back in Leadenhall Market and I haven't been here since we came for like about an hour, maybe less than, before I went to the benefit event back in April and we hung around out here and I took a picture and I actually remember it really well because there's a Waterstones on one of these corners and I Instagrammed it and Waterstones re-Instagrammed it and I was like, um, and yeah, we've come here because it's very Harry Potter-esque, it's very quiet in central London and it's quite hidden, so yeah. Guys, we've been on a Starbucks hunt for like about 40 minutes because they're either closed or they don't have a toilet i bought a drinking one but it didn't have a toilet and we need to go and sit somewhere quiet to record the audio so we're literally thinking starbucks toilet um 
but watch them have like music on in there or something when we do find one. But we've been walking around Bank, we're just like, there, are, there so are some scared. strange people around here. Look at them people having a meeting in there. I'm gonna turn the camera around. All right, back on my vlogging camera, but look at these people having a meeting in here. How edgy is that? <coughs> They're literally sat having a meeting in there. Okay, guys, carrying on with my story time. Oh, I'm gonna cut this out. I'm not gonna cut this out, I'll keep it PG. Basically, I was taking a picture because the building looked cool. And there was this guy spitting into an air filter thing. You can thing. flip the thing up so you can see it. I, I couldn't do it. I didn't want to break your camera. And he was like <laughs> spitting he into look really, he looked really dodgy. dodgy. And Molly was like about around the corner, like two meters away from me. And I was like, no, not today. <laughs> no. I'm running. And then we were like, <laughs> let's go. Yeah. Oh, I've never been more scared of my life. People weeing in public. It's like. Guys, we're stood filming by the tower and look how pretty it is. I absolutely love this bit. You might remember I came here with Hannah and Alice and we stood up there and did a little photo shoot. And I'm here with Liv now and we've just filmed some footage like walking around Liv like this for media. And the sky looks insane. Okay, so we're still sat outside of Tower Bridge and we've sat here until it's fully dark. Like just sat and filmed, ooh, blurry, blurry, there we go. I just sat and filmed a time lapse for literally half an hour and the um, file on my camera is so big, but I think it looks really cool because we watched it go from like fully light to pink to dark, but this pole thing just exploded with like black fumes. You can still see it. it's like giving out like white, stuff so everybody around here was just like started screaming about pollution and was like get away from the pollution and i was like only in london is that a thing um she's leaving she's she, <laughs> this this mother's just taking her kids away from like this area that we're sat in um but anyway both of us are kind of craving waffles aren't we but um i don't i don't know where there are any <laughs> i googled it now my phone's dead and my train's in two hours and i don't have a charger with me so i'm like great but I think I'm really happy with the filming that I just got. I'm not actually sure that like, that wasn't on the itinerary, but it was just a bit of a spontaneous clip that will probably end up being about four seconds, but we just sat here for half an hour, but it's what happens, you know, when you're filming. Guys, we're pretty much done the shoot. I'm really, really, really happy. Hopefully, fingers crossed, everything's gone well. It's really hard to tell when it's dark if the camera's in focus. Um, so I can't really tell until I check. So we're just gonna have to hope. Um, I think it was. Liv here is her patience bless her. She's, we've just worked out that it's been about eight and a half hours of straight filming. I'm sorry about the quality. I do have a light somewhere in this bag, but I, I don't know where it is. Um, but yeah, eight and a half hours of filming and poor Liv bless her. <laughs> she didn't really sign up for this. I just kind of told her she was being in it. I was like, Liv, you're being in my film, by the way. Um, but it's been quite fun. We've definitely seen a lot of London, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Like, we've literally done all the tourist things that you could possibly do in one day. <laughs> um, my train leaves out of King's Cross at 8, and I think it's about, well, it's 25 to 7. So, um, by the time we get back to King's Cross and stuff, it'll be nearly time. We're at HMS Belfast at the minute. So we're not we're not that close to King's Cross, but it doesn't take too long to get there. Uh, and then Liv's going back home, and I'm not actually sure when I'll next see her. The shards just creeping up there. That's cute. We're outside Shakespeare's Globe and they've actually got an advert up here for Othello which is what I'm studying in English so if my English department are watching this and I know that sometimes they do please can we come on a school trip to the Globe because they're showing Othello and yeah please Liv what's your opinion? Everyone called me Othello in year 10 Why? Because we had a book version of it and the guy on the cover looked a bit like me The guy on the cover? Othello Othello looks like you. Yeah, apparently. Alternative well, interpretation, I'm, guys. I'm the white Othello. Liv looks like Othello. Right, well, anyway. Yeah, it is pretty impressive. I really like the fairy lights. I wonder what Shakespeare would think about all the fairy lights. It's a bit 21st century, isn't it? I think he was a bit more 1600s kind of guy, wasn't he? <laughs> Did you know that the globe actually used to be on that side 
I didn't know that. Oh, well, yeah, the globe used to be on the um, north bank, and then um, this guy that I've forgotten his name banned plays and things and stuff like that, so they literally picked the globe up and moved it to the south bank because they had a different council or something like I might be wrong, guys, probably, I'm probably wrong, but yeah, there you go. Education. So we're in London Bra 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 Blackfriars. Blackfriars. <laughs> Black oh my god, Blackfriars. Um, and I've never been in here before. It's like this really cool overground. It looks more like an airport. Um, gonna be in an airport in about 13 hours or something stupid. Um, but right now I'm in Blackfriars station. Liv's train goes at 12 past, and I think mine goes at 12 past. Oh, I've flashing battery warning, but um, yeah, anyway. Liv's about to leave. It's been a long day, but it's been good. Guys, I've decided on the way home, I'm going to do a little montage of all the train stations I've got in. So right now, Blackfriars, there should be about six other train stations I'll be in tonight before I make it home. So I'm going to keep you updated on the um, train station situation. So I'm now in St Pancras, train station number two. It's half past seven. Dun, 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 the train station number three. Right, guys, I'm a little bit annoyed about this because I fucked myself onto the eight o'clock train, which is this one here. So change at Newcastle. No, not change at Newcastle. Sorry, oh my god, can you imagine? Change at Doncaster on the Newcastle train. Here, literally direct to Hull. This did not show up when I tried to book tickets. I'm so annoyed. Gonna have a cheeky look in Oliver Bonus to pass the time. Update. I'm at Doncaster station now. Yes, my last update would have been that I was just passing through Beverly, but I didn't film that because I was like, oh my god, I can get in the car and come home. And I'm now home. It's been a very, very, very long day. Got the earliest train out and the latest train in, and I'm getting up at half past six or six o'clock to go to Manchester Airport to fly out to Vienna, um, which is busy a lot of you guys seem really confused about why i've not been on half term in my weekly vlog i don't know why but east riding's half term fell the week later so i'm on half term this week um so like until the 27th i go back to school on the 27th um which meant that i was at school last week so yeah um but right now i'm gonna finish editing this vlog i did most of it on the train um well actually i'll have a little bit of a run not a run but there was a really stroppy family on the train and i i was like kind of in the way of their family but not really there was like the mum the dad no the mum the daughter the dad and then me and i was like in the aisle seat and i sat down and the dad hadn't sat down yet and the mum was like you're gonna have to move, my husband's sitting there. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I know, I'm, I'm really sorry. And I like stood up, moved out into the aisle. He wasn't even on the train yet, but she was like really, really persistent in the fact that I had to move. So he came and sat down and I'd moved out of the way and I was like, oh, I'm really sorry. And then she like stood up to get her bag and knocked all my stuff off the table and didn't say sorry, I'll pick it up. And I was like, okay, okay. And they had a daughter with them and she looked a bit like embarrassed. And then I was like, Okay, and then they like, had this really loud conversation while I had headphones in, they were like, oh, don't you just hate it when people travel on their own and you sit on a table with a random person, and I was like, right here, guys, right here. Save that for the car when you're off, off the train, you know? And I was just kind of like, oh my God. <laughs> but it was quite funny, to be honest, like, whatever. But anyway, I'm gonna go and I'll see you in the morning. I'm daily vlogging this week, if you didn't know, so I'm gonna be vlogging my trip to Austria, uh, which hopefully is gonna be really, really good. And I'll update you more about that tomorrow. I'm flying up from Manchester at about 10 a.m., I think. So yeah, good night, guys. Yes, if you enjoyed this, remember to subscribe to Liv because Liv helped me out a lot today, so go subscribe to Liv.